Welcome back viewers. Now before going to the complete on-page SEO section, I will tell you some important facts and figures about SEO in this lecture. You can see here this is a few months old chart for search engines, uh, the percentage for search engines from US search share. Basically in simple words 82 percent people use google for searching and for finding something on the internet and yahoo and bing jointly get 15 percent of the total searches so basically the most popular search engine is google and we will focus mostly google in this course so this is the percentage you can see and you can easily get idea that google has the most searches i mean most more people use google for searching on the internet now let's uh, see how google works basically if you write how google search works in google itself you will find the first link here just i will click this link and let's see what google does actually so here you can see how search works from algorithms to answers and if you just scroll down to this page a little bit you will see different things like this is a three parts from Google the first part is crawling and indexing the web pages the websites and the content on the web here you can see search starts with the web it's made up of or 60 trillion individual pages there's a great number of pages you know on the web now if you scroll down more that Google will tell you Google navigates the web by crawling they have different crawlers different software programs which actually goes to the web and find new pages that means we follow link from page to page so linking is very important in SEO we sort the pages by their content you can see here these are the example pages now and we keep track of it all in the index now when Google crawl all the pages so then they index in their database now they have the algorithms this is the part two the algorithms the programs the formulas they use for ranking the website because first of all they crawl the web pages the websites and index them in their database now the next step is they use algorithms programs softwares formulas to deliver the best results possible and this is called the ranking formula for SEO what they do now if we scroll down here it says as you search string theory so we put that here to the algorithms get to work looking for clues to better understand what you mean so Google actually goes beyond the scenario and be beyond the scene and see what you want the result for your keyword or something that you search on Google so if you go here it actually searches in the index using algorithms and formula and everything here within rank the results using our 200 factors and this 200 factors is very important Google actually considers I mean Google actually ranking a website or a web page using 200 factors and what are those 200 factors I will be telling you in just a few seconds later so here it is the three steps first Google crawls and index the pages then when someone searches using their search engine Google actually use their algorithms programs and formulas to rank the websites because there might be different in a lot of websites for a single keyword so they need to sort out these all pages and give them a ranking like one two three four five so for that Google uses 200 factors so this is the results here can take a variety of forms simple it is simple as that and Google are also fighting the spam we fight spam 24 hours and seven days a week to keep your results relevant and that is what we are going to completely understand in this course one by one and everything so this is how Google works now as I told you Google actually use 200 factors for ranking a website or a specific page so here if you go to backlinko.com and then backslash google dash ranking underscore factors 
here you will see the 200 the possible 200 ranking factors from Google actually nobody knows about this 200 factors exactly except the Google employees who work on the algorithms and on the search engine optimization part on Google they know only nobody else knows about these 200 factors but SEO exp experts actually give their opinion their best opinion their analysis their case studies and then create a list so here the backlinkcode.com uh, Brian Dean which is a very popular SEO expert he has created the 200 ranking factors complete list here you can just I will give you this link in the description so you guys can actually read all of these 200 factors and you can see the first factor and the most important factor which should be the most important factor is domain age so the domain age means uh, how many old your domain name is now the next you can see keyword appears in top level, level domain and third is keyword as first word in domain and for domain registration length and then so on you can see domain history exact match domain and then public versus private holes then penalized whole owner country TLD extension keyword in title take title take starts with keyword and different things and different all 200 factors you can find in this list if you go to the last the bottom of this course you will find 205 factors in total so that is very easy to understand and I will give you the this link in the description so you can yourself read this all so now Google is actually use Google is actually using 200 factors to rank a website for example if I say cheap web hosting in Pakistan or I, I will say cheap web hosting in India for example and I search so I'm right now I have written a keyword and Google has thousands of pages thousands of website crawled and indexed in their database now when I click to search for this keyword Google will actually use their algorithms their programs their formulas for giving me the accurate and exact and relevant results here so I will click search and I got the result basically these are the aids the advertisements the first three ones and the next I can see here this is the first website web hosting get web host uh, web hosting from India's number one website and then then again so here in my opinion the top three things which are the title of this website or this page then the URL of this web page and then a description which Google automatically takes uh, from the page or from the website or from the content of that website basically so these three are very important things here so if you have a keyword in the title then that's mean it is very good then if the keyword is in the in the permalink here in the URL that is another great thing and Google actually picks up this description just for actually for for click-through rate I mean for showing the the user that this result may be relevant so basically this things I wanted to show you and to make you understand how search engine works so you can have a better idea now we will go and we'll discuss each and every option in this course with details and we will move forward to another section which is about on-page SEO we will discuss each and everything like title like description like uh, URLs like permalinks and everything that we need to know and to rank our site for so see you soon in the next lecture goodbye